Hello and welcome to a short video on Unleashed Segmentation. So what is a segment? A segment is a reusable collection of strategy constraints. It's a whole bunch of smaller strategy constraints wrapped up together in one segment. This is also reusable, which means you can use it across multiple future toggles and reuse it over and over again, which means you don't have to constantly recreate these same sets of strategy constraints in each future toggle. You make it once and then apply it in many different places. So you can save this, use it over and over again, and it makes it much easier to do this development work, especially when you're using the same types of strategy constraints over and over again across different feature toggles. It's applied to feature toggles as a strategy constraint, just like any other normal strategy constraint would be, and any updates to those segments are applied immediately across all feature toggles that use that segment. That means as soon as you make an update to a segment, any feature toggles using it all get that same update. So you don't have to go through and update each one individually. You might miss one. This makes it easier, faster, and just more consistent uh, in your development. So how's the segment evaluated? So a segment is evaluated when all constraints in the segment are satisfied. So every single constraint as part of a segment must be satisfied for that segment to be evaluated as true. That means on a feature toggle, if you have a segment, all those segments must be satisfied and any additional constraints that are part of that activation strategy must also be met for that feature toggle to be evaluated as true. So some uses of segments. So there's a wide variety of things that you could do with segments, including targeting specific regions, device types, languages, user groups. Uh, if you have a list of IDs for your development team where you know that they're going to be the ones testing it, you can just wrap that all up in one piece, make it much easier for uh, to enable that feature toggle for those groups quickly and efficiently uh, in any environment. You can also activate and deactivate multiple feature toggles at once. This is great for larger releases, uh, enabling and disabling things at a certain period of time, because you can wrap all these feature toggles up with the same segment. Each segment or each feature toggle that uses that segment will be evaluated as true or false at the same time or for those same users. And that means if you have one that is based on a specific point in time, everything will be enabled or disabled at that point in time. You can create those events for those certain periods of time, and everything will just happen very easily. And since every segment evaluates the same way across those feature toggles, you can make sure that everything happens at the exact same time. So how do you create and manage segments? So segments are shown as part of our Pro and Enterprise offering. You can see it on the admin UI if you click into configure and from the drop down click on segments. You get this nice screen that you see on the right where you see all your segments. You can see when they were created and who by who, and you're able to edit and delete them. If you want to delete a segment, you have to make sure that it's not in use anywhere because if you would delete that, it could cause sort of cascading issues across different feature toggles, and we want to avoid that. So make sure to remove any uses of a segment. Uh, in any activation strategy, any feature toggles before you delete it. Editing a segment can happen at any time, and those result or those changes are reflected immediately in the feature toggles where that segment is used. So thanks for watching. If you need any more information, please check out our documentation here or visit us on our Slack channel and ask any questions you might have. Thanks.